is another rendition of True Crime and Wine. <gasps> Y'all, I did not bring a drink with me. I will be right back. Okay, I am back. And I don't have wine, but I have margarita. So, cheers. Y'all, I have been obsessed with
was also stated that earlier in the day, um, the mother before her death had ran out of the house and went next door for help, but the neighbors never answered the door. I assume this is because they were under the impression that, like, this lady argues with her kids a lot. We're not going to get involved. We're not going to answer the door. We're going to let her figure it out. So, um, when there was no answer, she returned back to her home and, well, she was murdered from that point forward. Um, it's also important to note that the twins were significantly late for school, even though they said they had been to school on time that day and they had been to school the, for the entire school day and it's only when they had gotten back from school that they had found their mother in the bathtub um well there was a gas station camera that shows them getting into a minivan around 10 15 a.m and when this was to cross cross referenced with the school attendance records it shows that they checked in for school shortly after that so there is an unaccounted for two to three hours um in which they said they were in school that they actually were not um but at this point the girls are still saying not guilty but as the case develops more and more they eventually take a guilty plea and they plead guilty to voluntary manslaughter of their mother um from there they were sentenced to 30 years for voluntary manslaughter and some other charges which included possession of a knife at a crime scene or it was like something crazy like that and then falsification in a government matter basically the fact that they lied and they went and got this sheriff like they didn't know what happened to their mother like they found her there when they were in fact the ones who murdered her so yeah they were put in two separate prisons in georgia um, they were up for parole in 2017, but it seems like as of now, both of them had their parole denied and that they are still incarcerated. Um, yeah, so that is the story of Jazz and Taz Whitehead, also known as the Killer Twins. I think this story is like so crazy, y'all. Like, these girls literally murdered their mother for what I cannot really understand. Y'all, okay, I just remembered a part that for whatever reason I did not write down, but I do remember reading on Murderpedia this morning. One of them told their mom that she had been raped and her mom did not believe her i feel like that's important to add because i feel like that gives more insight to the mistrust that they had of their mother i don't know if she was lying about being raped or not i always choose to believe people when they say that they have been sexually assaulted because more often than not that person is not lying so i don't know but i found that interesting i don't know i didn't write that in my notes but that just came back to me um so that could possibly be a reason that fueled why they decided to kill their mother outside of just the back and forth tension that they had but honestly that tension just seems so like characteristic of a relationship between a mother and teenage daughters like no teenage girl just kiss them all her well great grand with her mom during those years because you just feel like oh my god like she does not understand me which most likely she absolutely understands exactly how you're feeling and everything she's been through it but that's just how 
how you feel as a teenage girl and it seems like they just kind of amp the other one up to do it um yeah I don't know if that's the story of those two girls it seems really crazy um one thing though I always find like child murderers so interesting because I don't know like people tend to think of child murderers as particularly sadistic and you know most people will see a child murderer as a more evil being than an adult murderer which I never understood because like not saying that murder ever makes sense in any situation but when you're a child literally your prefrontal cortex is not at all developed like it's developed some but you make dumb decisions so I could see how they could go through with the murder and think that you know it will somehow work out positively for them or not think through the consequences or not realize like this is definite you have killed your mother that is it she will never be back you know it's kind of crazy i think they should serve their whole 30 years though i don't think they should get out early because and i also think that it was interesting how they were put into separate facilities but as you know how go 